Today we're watching Interstellar. What did you think about this movie? Uh, I give Interstellar a 4 out of 10. So a low Ooh. score for me. I knock it down because, well, for me, it's an infuriating movie. There's lots to like, but it's infuriating with the different plot points and characters. I get a little bit enraged and annoyed at the characters. I think the characters trump reality. I think characters come first, reality comes second, so I don't really get into it. Um, I feel like the characters leap to conclusions far too much when it comes to gravity and how to save the world and what to do about the blight. They're just like leaping to conclusions without thinking it through. Uh, the decision-making and unforced errors are brutal to me. I struggle watching them make decisions. Uh, and the logistics and supply chains and training and organizations and finance just seems to be ignored, in my opinion. Not a big deal. Uh, the fact that love transcends time and space, I'm not on board with that. Not quite on board with that. However, it looks great. Feels great. I love the space scenes without the sound, the explosive decompression, the docking scene, the wormhole, the scale. It feels that stuff feels amazing. That's why I get so infuriated is because it looks great. It feels great. It feels real. Great cinematic feel. I love it. But uh, brought down by what I think is some really bad story points. So overall, I can't get over the story problems, even though I love the way it looks. So I give it a four out of ten. What do you think? Absolutely brutal, absolutely savage, dude. I'm like, I give it a ten out of ten. Oh. <laughs> we have such different takes on this. Yeah. Okay, great story, complicated morality. I love it. Like complicated morality and a great story wrapped up in the highest stakes there can be. Survival of the entire human species. Like there, there is no grander problem. And and the villains are not straightforward. I, I don't like it when villains are too simple, just straight up evil. Both both men. And, and Professor Brand, they do really just bad stuff. But also, I get it. Like, I, I see why they did it. Like, I, I think these are very fleshed out villains that are that are compelling. And this film, this this Interstellar has excellent science fiction. Like, ideas that are far reaching and, and pro, uh, poses, proses? Give, gives rise to proses and gives gives ideas of, to think about. This, 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 is, this is the heart of science fiction, of thinking of what could be. Not only that, but there's also very good science. Like the writing room did their homework. Now, now I, I've caught them. They made some mistakes, and if I remember, we'll bring them up later in the discussion. But, but for the most part, that's pretty good. And this gen in they included generative relativity, time dilation, exoplanets, and just just how Goldilocks of a of a of a planet Earth is. The music, oh my goodness, the music is what what really activates emotions for me and in and in the interpersonal relationships with the cadence and the timing of the music it just it just it's compelling it pulls emotions out of me it makes me feel things it makes me cry it's, it's incredible um, cool representation of five-dimensional beings made for us because as humans i mean i have no idea how we would even conceive of five dimensions and so the fact that these uh, five-dimensional beings made this library thing i'm uh, sure you know pretty cool a very very cool way to do it um, the concept of this movie is that uh, will we ever see experience five dimensions? Now that I now that I know it, it maybe exists. I, I want it, but I'm not sure if humans can ever. Um, love is quantifiable. Ooh, that's that's a that's a that's an artist writing that line for sure. Um, maybe I mean I guess I could say love is quantifiable. I mean, there's OnlyFans, so that's you know <laughs> clearly measure the numbers. Um, and not enough tars. I would like it if there was more TARS. TARS is so much fun. I like it. Ready to talk about today's film? Let's get into it. Let's do it. 